Hi, it's nice to see you, not see you today. It's a beautiful day where I live. I hope it's beautiful where you are. Today, I've chosen a story that I really love. It's called Coyote by Gerald McDermott. Coyote is a trickster tale from the American Southwest. Lots of stories about Coyote. If you like this one, let me know and I'll read you some more. This one starts like this. Coyote, blue coyote. He was going along, following his nose. He had a nose for trouble. Coyote stuck his nose into Badger's hole, but got bitten. Coyote wanted to have a flaming red head like Woodpecker, but his fur caught fire. Coyote went looking for Snake, but only found trouble. Coyote was always in trouble. Coyote came to a place where Earth meets the sky. He heard laughing and singing. He went up to take a look. Coyote saw a flock of crows. They were chanting. They were dancing. Then the birds spread their wings. They flew through the air and circled the canyon. Ah. Oh. If only I could fly, thought Coyote. I would be the greatest coyote in all the world. Coyote called to the crows. Let me join you, he said. Ha, this foolish coyote, he wants to be like us, old man crow said to his flock. Let's have some fun with him. Old Man Crow turned one eye towards Coyote. You may dance with us, he said. Thank you, thank you, said Coyote, but I want to fly too. Maybe you can, said Old Man Crow. Old Man Crow Crow plucked a feather from his left wing. He told his flock to do the same. They stuck the feathers in Coyote. Coyote winced, his nose twitched. The crows chuckled. You're ready to fly, said Old Man Crow. The birds began their slow, steady chant. They hopped from one foot to the other. Coyote joined in the dance. Even though he got out of step and sang out a tune, he was very proud of himself. The crows spread their wings and soared into the sky. Coyote followed. His flight was jerky. He tilted to one side. Since his feathers were only from the left wing of each bird, he was off balance. He fell to the ground. Wait, he cried out. Don't leave me behind. The birds returned and gathered around Coyote. We must balance him, said Old Man Crow. Old Man Crow plucked a feather from his right wing. Each of his flock did the same. Coyote cringed as they stuck the feathers in his fur. The crows cackled. Now I'm perfect, said Coyote. I can fly as well as the rest of you. Coyote had become rude and boastful. 
He danced out of step. He sang off key. The crows were no longer having fun. The birds again began their slow, steady chant. Coyote hopped along, flapping his feathered legs and singing sour notes. The dancers spread their wings and leapt into the air. Soon the crows were flying high over the canyon. Coyote struggled to keep up. Carry me, he demanded. The crows circled Coyote, but they didn't carry him. Instead, they took their feathers back one by one. Coyote sank through the air. He fell straight down. Coyote fell so fast his tail caught fire. He fell into a pool on the mesa. Coyote crawled out of the water. He heard laughter and he saw the crows flying away. Coyote ran after them. He tripped and fell, tumbling in the dirt. Coyote went home soaked and covered with dust. To this day, he is the color of dust. To this day, his tail has a burnt black tip. To this day, Coyote still follows his nose. He has a nose for trouble. He always finds it. And that's the story of Coyote. If you like that story, let me know. I'll find some more Coyote stories. He's a funny character. Maybe you could make a picture of your favorite one. I love the way Gerald McDermott used all of this color in here. Blue Coyote. What a great way to think about coyotes, huh? Bye. I'll see you next time.